So guys, I went with the Night Dragons from Pirelli and I must say they look pretty damn cool. Um, they seem to look a little bit fatter than the, um, the stock ones. Whether they actually are or not, I don't know. Um, but today I'm going to not do a review on them. I'm just going to do a um, how to run your new tyres in, whether they're Night Dragons or just new tyres. Um, and uh, yeah, I got some information from a really good video on YouTube. So I'll leave a link in the description below. Go check it out. It's really useful. Explains everything better than I will. Um, but please carry on watching and um, we'll get to it. Cheers. So good day, guys. Wow. It's cold today. It was snowing this morning when I took my son to school. Um, and I didn't think I was going to be able to do this today, but it's actually dried up quite nicely. The salt on the road is absolutely terrible. So I didn't really want to do this until it was proper dry and it's still a little bit damp in places. But anyway, let's get on with it, guys. I did go with the Pirelli Night Dragons. Um, I thought I'd give them a go. I know you don't get that many miles out of them, but you know, once I've done, you know, maybe 500 miles on these bad boys, then I'll do a proper ride review and compare them to the stock tires and uh, see how we get on. But today I want to talk to you about new tires and what you should do to run them in. Now I did do a video uh, about, well, about a week ago, um, but I didn't release it because the content was just, it was just rubbish basically. So I'm doing it again uh, with a little bit more research involved and uh, this is what I've found and so what I first thought was you know tires I know the night dragons they need about 100 miles to be running that's what the Pirelli guys say 100 miles uh, to run these tires in so I thought I'll just get on the on motorway and uh, you know I'll do a few bit of bendies and that but just basically get on the motorway and just just clock them up so I did 80 miles pretty much on the motorway and um, it, it looks like they're still new tires you know all the sort of little spikes are still on them and everything so oh, hang on what's going on here so I did a bit of research so how do you run in brand new tires on a motorbike well as you all know new tires seem to be greasy um, very very shiny and slippery and the idea of running your tires in is to basically make that surface rough okay um, the rougher it is the more grip you get um, unfortunately with a harder compound as a road tire you're gonna have to do quite a few miles to get that roughness to appear on the on the tire so how do we do that well basically you get on your bike and you ride and you just pick pick a, a, a decent you know um, a decent track or a decent sort of run that you do um, you know lots of bends lots of straights lots and lots of bends you really want to wear that tire in and just take it easy don't go trying to get your knee down on the first bend you know don't pull away too hard um you know roundabouts and stuff like this just nice and easy i mean i'm not really i haven't really picked a good uh route for this but you want to try and find something quite bendy and really sort of just wear those tires in over a hundred miles or so and you'll know when they're done because they'll get that they'll, that smooth finish will go and they'll feel grippy and they'll look grippy and um that's pretty much it guys don't think that you can just go on the highway and just push it for 100 miles and say yeah i'm done because you won't you'll, you'll point it straight into um a corner and you'll just slide out um so yeah, just take it easy around the bends and then as you go through your course or your, your run or whatever you want to call it, slowly pick up the speed, try and take the corners a little bit quicker. Still not crazy, not full throttle, not as hard as you probably would on like proper running tires, but just progressively get faster and more aggressive in your riding over a long time. You know, we're talking about at least 100 miles here. So, you know, the first sort of 20 miles, you really, really need to be taking it super easy try and pick a dry day as well nice warm dry day not whoa not zero degrees and you know just snowed in the morning it's probably not the best thing to be doing it with it's, it's more of a safety thing than anything else you know these tires will run in in damp or wet conditions because it's, it's still rubbing against the um 
the road but obviously you know brand new tires you want to you want to be safe and if it's dry you, you're going to increase your grip already so try and pick a nice dry warm day and you know warm those tires up and uh, and then and then go on the bends and try and really um really like progressively wear them in and uh, that's that's what i'm going to do guys um you know like i said i've done 80 miles and they still feel pretty slippery so i'm going to give it a good go on on the bendies when it actually warms up a bit and dries up a bit better than this and um yeah then pretty much once they're worn in do a few more hundred miles just to sort of give it a good good uh good seeing too shall we say and then i'll do a proper review on them um but yeah one thing i did learn is you know there, there's no such thing as grease on a um on a new tire that's actually that's a myth um, most of the molds these days are molded through teflon or other sort of stuff like that so they come out like a cake you know they just there's no grease involved it's just come straight out they might put a little bit of sort of lube or something like that on the side walls to make sure that the the lettering and all that is is perfect but you know that 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 greasy thing is not true all it is is your tires are just super smooth because they've come out straight out of the mold and your your plan the idea is to just get them nice and rough and um you know just take it easy to for the first 100 miles just progressively get quicker and more aggressive so um guys i'm gonna leave it there because i'm absolutely freezing the scenery is uh pretty boring and um that's it guys if you if you've got new tires just please please be careful um you'll notice it straight away you'll get on the bike and you think okay this ain't this ain't right but um like i said guys i'm gonna leave it there and um i hope it's been interesting please leave your comments below uh, if you're new to the channel check out all my other videos i've got loads of content on uh, softail street bob and other stupid stuff as well and uh yeah give us a like and a subscribe and uh, yeah, I'll catch you next time. Street Bobber Vlogger. Woo!